I've brought back up my accessibility content. It has a table in it. And there were two things Tim talked about. Number one, when I click into a table, you're going to get a toolbar that appears. If I click outside of the table, it goes away. So when I click in the table, uh, I could always go up to the table menu and get to functionality here. I could always right click into a cell and get some of the functionality there. Uh, the idea here is when you're in a table without having to right click or go all the way up to the, to the toolbar menu bar at the top, there are some basic things that people want to do a lot to tables. So let's make it easy for them to do some table manipulation without having to right click or without having to go to those menus. So that floating toolbar gives you some of that functionality directly next to the table. The other thing Tim brought up, and I agree with him, this is, this is one of those things that everybody who works with a word processor, you just get used to it, and then when you don't have it, it's frustrating. Uh, you can visually grab and resize uh, rows and columns in TinyMC as opposed to dialogues. Now, if you are a giant fan of dialogues, uh, we have not removed uh, the dialogues. So if you want to get into the minutia of how you would configure rows and cells and, and those kinds of things. If you want all that minutia, it's still there. So we, we haven't removed those from the product. What we've done instead is we've simply given you an easier, more end-user friendly way to manipulate your table. 